Hi, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. This is Shay Shannon. Uh, in our previous topics, we just discussed about all the features of microcontroller, uh, right from memories and IO ports, timers, counters, interrupts, and serial port. Now, we are proceeding with interfacings with microcontroller. So, the basic LED interfacing, which is already done, you can go for uh, prototype applications like traffic signals and LED formations so which is all explained in uh, simulation videos you can watch my videos on uh, erotic solutions from YouTube channel now I want to discuss the next display unit which is 16 cross 2 LCD uh, basically the LEDs which are preferred for only indications even in applications uh, the LEDs again there are uh, single color LEDs and multicolor LEDs and bicolor LEDs, tricolor LEDs depends on application they may use different color LEDs so you need to understand even those LEDs operations with tricolor and bicolor and multicolor LEDs but LEDs are limited with only indications but whenever your application looking for text display so again text means it may support alphabets, numerics and special characters. You cannot proceed with any images with basic LCD screens. Still you are looking for images or any graphics. So you need to know about the graphical LCDs or TFT screens from display part. So these LCDs which are supporting us alphanumerics. So the basic information about alphanumeric means you which will support the characters A to Z and numbers 0 to 9 and all special characters like star, hash, so whatever your in your regular uses. So your six LCDs, LCD full form is liquid crystal display and these devices you can find from different kinds of applications like swiping machines all portable devices like any small display you are expecting for your product they are going to use this LCD screens in all small building missions uh, POIs point of sale missions and small lockers and uh, inverters so wherever you are expecting only some limited amount of text display you can proceed with this 16 cross 2 or in any size so basically your 16 cross 2 means there is one basic size from LCD screens. Again, LCDs are available in a matrix form which is 16 cross 2. And out of this 16 cross 2, the things represent which is M cross N. Suppose you are taking with different sizes, M cross N. M represents number of characters per line, and N represents how many lines it is going to support. So now there are different sizes of LCD screens. It may be 16 cross 1, 16 cross 2, 20 cross 4, 32 cross 2. So it depends on your requirement. You may proceed, you can proceed with any different size LCD screens. But you need to understand based on this combination how many characters it is going to support per line and how many lines you may get from the LCD screens. Depends on application again for all building machines they may choose 20 cross 4 for all ticket machines like you can observe even at conductors so you may find this 20 cross 4 LCDs but all small swipe machines card card swiping machines you may find 16 cross 2 okay so here you need to know about this size what it represents here and first one represents number of characters per line and second one represents number of lines from the device so this is about your a simple LCD liquid crystal displays but irrespective of any size of your LCD screen they are available with standard 16 pin configuration so you need to know about the 16 physical pins from the LCDs so don't think that your 16 cross 2 having 16 pins, 20 cross 4 may have 20 lines, no. 
So every device have standard pin configuration. You will get 16 physical pins from the NCDs. So out of these 16 physical pins, the first two lines are VCC and ground. The first pin is ground pin for the device and second pin is VCC and third pin from the LCD is contrast. So you can adjust the brightness of screen by using this third pin from the LCD and four, five, six pins are three control lines. RS stands for register select. And fifth pin is RW, which is read or write. And sixth pin is EN, which is enable. And from 7 to 14 are data lines. Whatever the text you are looking to give to LCD screen, you need to pass through these data lines D0 to D7. LCD will support 8 data lines from D0 to D7 and physical pins are 7 to 14. The last two lines, 15 and 16, which are used for backlight VCC and backlight ground. So once you are giving this backlight physical connection with the VCC and ground, you can watch your display even in dark places or night times. So out of these 16 physical pins, any size, irrespective of any, any LCD size, you will get only the 16 standard pins. Out of 16, first two pins are power supply, ground and VCC and third pin is a contrast. So just by using one variable resistor to this contrast pin, you can adjust the brightness. So the variable resistor may contain three lines and one and two pins are connected to VCC and ground. The variated pin you have to connect to this contrast pin. And four, five, six. These three control lines you need to understand. What is the importance of these three control pins? The first control pin is RS, which means register select. And this control pin working is very clear. Your LCD, which is not allowing to display your characters directly. Okay, suppose you are passing a character A or whatever you are trying to pass it through these data lines, your LCD is not supporting to display your text directly. So your LCD requires proper commands. So there is a concept to deal with this LCD. You need to know about the LCD commands table. So LCD have its own set of commands. You need to know or you need to remember these commands while doing applications. So without knowing these commands, which is not possible to display your text on LCDs. And command, which is, is very clear, all commands are one byte size. I will give you some examples. 0x01. Zero zero this is a one byte hexadecimal value. So this command importance is which is going to clear the screen. Means whatever the previous text present on this LCD, by passing this 0x01 command value, your LCD is going to clear the text completely. But how to pass these command values to LCD? Again, here you need to use the same data lines D0 to D7. But the same data lines which is used for sending text also. But how LCD understands whether you are sending command values or text value. So that will be decided by the RS control pin. Whenever you are trying to send commands to LCD, you should be clear this RS logic 0. You have to keep your RS pin logic 0 while sending commands. Suppose if you are trying to pass any text or any numbers to send to send your LCD, you need to, you need to make RS logic 1. So with the help of this RS logic only, LCD understands whether you are sending commands or text. Okay, so remember while passing commands, you have to take care of this RS logic, it should be 0. While passing text, make sure your RS logic is 1. This is the importance of RS control pin. Then, what, what is your RW? 
So this again, which is one more control pin for LCD. So this RW, which will give you read or write operation. So what you are trying to do with LCD, whether you are looking to read data from LCD or you are sending any data from microcontroller to LCDs. So that means you are doing write operation. To confirm whether you are doing read or write operation, you have to consider your RW logic. To do your write operation with LCD, you have to keep this read write logic zero. And if you are doing read operation with LCD, make sure this RW control pin logic is one. So most of the cases you are doing, you are giving data to LCD always. So your RW remains logic zero. Then what is enable? EN. EN stands for enable here. The control pin EN working is so this LCD while passing text or while passing commands, you have to make your enable pin high to low every time. So for every change of data across your data lines, suppose you given a command value 0x01. Again, you are trying to pass it next command to LCD. Make sure your enable pin is high to low once. Every change of data, maybe every change of command, you have to make sure enable pin high to low once with less time delay. So make sure enable high and low. Suppose I am giving character A across data lines. Looking to send the next character B. In between this, you should make enable pin high to low. For every change of character, you need to make it your enable high to low once. Otherwise, it will hold previous data only across these data lines. Okay, so without making enable pin high to low, your data lines are not accepting new data or new command. So this is the importance of EN. So once again, I'll tell you, the importance of RS control pin is very clear. Looking to send commands, make sure RS logic is zero. Looking to send text, make sure RS logic is one. To do read operation with LCD, make it RW logic is one. To do write operation with LCD, make it RW logic zero. And EN pin is every change of data, you have to make sure enable pin high to low once. Then, so the importance of eight data lines. So these data lines use it to pass commands or text. So which is supporting eight data lines D0 to D7. So you get eight physical pins here, 7 to 14. And two 15 and 16 pins are backlight, VCC and ground. So you need to provide positive supply across 15 pin and ground connection across 16 pin. And the LCD operating voltage is 5 volts DC. So this voltage which is a very similar operating voltage of microcontrollers so that people will directly interface these LCDs with microcontrollers without using any external components. So this is the working of 16 physical pins from LCD and if you are trying to display any text on this LCD you need to know about what is the interfacing diagram with LCD screen and what is the sample code. So I will write one interfacing circuit and as well source code you can follow it or else I have already done one simulation video with Proteus and Embedded C program. You can watch that also. But now I will give the clarity on this hardware circuit. How to connect your LCD screen with microcontroller. This is your 40 pin microcontroller and this is your 16 cross 2 or 20 cross 2 or 32 cross 2 LCD. So make sure the first pin is grounded. And second pin is you have to connect with 5 volts DC. And third pin is connected with one variable resistor. So anyway, variable resistor one end is given to VCC and other end is given to ground. And the variator, whatever it is, so this variator is connected across third pin. And the 
three control lines which are 4, 5, 6, RS, RW, enable. So these three are connected across any one specific I.O. you can take it P1.0, P1.1, P1.2 and 7 to 14 I am connecting with complete port 2 P2 2.0, 2.1 and up to 14 P2.7 and the last pins 15 and 16 15 is given to supply and 16th pin is given to ground so this is the physical connection required between microcontroller and LC so this is what you need to apply your embedded C program I will give the link on video so please you can take that source code and you can apply your output with microcontroller and LC and for more videos please subscribe our channel aerotech solutions from youtube thanks for watching